and we are live here on Kbox TV. My name is Kofi Besi Jr. I'm here with my regular panelists, Daniel Soa and Kujo Amedoda. Today is the Total Boxing Show, where we talk boxing, nothing but boxing. We also debate on some of the issues, we discuss them, and then we share our opinions. And we, like we always say, the opinions are strictly ours. You can join the show by also sharing your comments and your um, your suggestions and your criticism and everything can also come to the comment section or read it for you. This show is streaming live on our Facebook and on our YouTube channel. Make a choice and just follow anyone and then we'll hear from you, your opinions and everything. Guys, we are here to discuss some few topics. Doug to the news this week. We'll talk about his, um, his return after uh, beating Avalos. We'll also talk about the Ghana Boxing Authority and the Trust Sports Emporium who are trying to meet with managers and then boxing promoters to see the way forward for COVID-19. We also discussed Manny Pacquiao versus Terence Crawford's fight that Bobarum says might happen somewhere in, in October. And we also talk about Teofimo Lopez's and um, Lomachenko's fight also. That is also in the pipeline somewhere around September. So guys, a lot of things to talk about. Like last week, you guys almost messed uh, to get some away, I wanted to start straight so that we can be able to talk about the show. So, guys, welcome again to Kbox TV. I'm Edoda and, I'm, and, and, and so on. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So, I mean, Doug is back in the news. He's going to fight. According to Top Rank, he'll be he'll be returning somewhere around around October. I want to take it from my my left now. All right. So, from my left. I want to get your opinion on what you think about his return. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much. Uh, good evening to our viewers. Right. Uh, I believe it's good. It's good for uh, 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 Dubai to come back very soon. I believe a lot of people are not agreeing with this fact that uh, uh, like, uh, he's fighting continuously like they, they say it's too much that is they, they even say that that is the, the reason why he lost because he was fighting so like the, like it's been piled the fight is being piled yeah the fight is being piled on him right so he's fighting so frequently that is the cause of the lose yeah. yes no that way no that is it can never be it can never be <laughs> Because, right. oh, yeah, it can never be. Dogbe is just a, 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 a young boy, about 20, yeah. is he 25 years? Yeah. And then normally, if you are in a, your, your sports age, you have to be uh, in boxing, you have to be fighting every, like, like at least three fights in a year. Right. But that three fights in a year is like uh, uh, 12 rounds a fight. Yeah. And three fights in a year. But this is the case that some of his fights end so early. Maybe round one, that's true. round uh, that sort of thing. So I don't yeah. know how, I don't know why some people will be thinking like he's fighting so frequently. That is why, that is the cause of the lose. No, that is not. And now, right. don't be break for over a year now and then he came back. He's coming back supposed to, like, like there's something called ring rusty. Right, ring rusty. Okay, yeah. Right. So as he's back now, and he want to make the name, he should fight frequently and then possible get into the ranking and then get to the title fight. So it's good for Dubai to fight. And then we are expecting him. But Dubai is one guy who is always ready to fight anybody that is on the, 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 the uh, that is on the line. So I know his promoters, he, he would, they will not suffer to make a fight for Dubai. So right. we believe strongly. Then we have to right. fight more fight and then clear off the ring rust and then be okay for anybody who is coming, uh, anybody who is facing him and then he will deliver. That is all that right. we do. Okay, then okay. also I just said it from um, Amedoda. What do you have to say about Dugway's possible return in, in October? Okay. Um, business wise, I think they are trying to uh, get him into the ranks because. You know, it's been it's been a while. It's been um, almost a year before he's come back to Avalos, and with Avalos, we saw some improvements. Before right. he lost to Navarrete twice, 
was it was becoming a, a money making uh, boxer. So I think what right. they are trying to do now is to, uh, to quickly get him to the uh, ranks so that yeah. he could get a title shot and top rank and also be money up. I think still, as well, they are trying to do that for maybe not careful they don't do Hello, Daniel. Hello. Hello, Daniel. In that particular year, I think it fought, it fought, um, it fought four people. They had to go to the which wasn't good for them. Hello. I think I think Daniel's network is not so great. Uh, I'm trying to contact him privately so that he, he, he sees if he can he can sort out uh, his his data. But let me get him back as in. Hello, Daniel. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, the network. Could you could you please go back like and uh, terminate this one and then come back using the same link again because it's giving us some feedback that okay. is not very clear. Okay, all right. Now, Abedona, let me keep with you. We saw a lot of improvements with Dobe. We saw the way he was he was he was moving and his defense and everything very 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 solid. Now, Navarrete is about to compete to uh, for the championship. That's the WBO uh, featherweight title. Uh, we don't know the date yet, but definitely. We are, we are very rest assured that he'll be competing for it because the WBO said that they are going to give him um, an opportunity because he is a former champion. They'll give an opportunity for him to compete for the title. Do you think that this division that Dogbe has found himself with okay. in now, which is the featherweight division, he will be very successful in that? Yeah, Dogbe have all the chances there to win a title. He have all, all right. the chances. He have almost everything that he's supposed to have it to win a title over there. The guys okay. over there now, most of them, the, the strong guys over there, most of them are a bit tall. I, right. I remember uh, uh, Navarrete is there, uh, Madalino mm -hmm. is there, mm -hmm. Conlan is there, and then some right. other guys, mo all of them are taller than Dogbe. Right. Dogbe is a warrior. And then he can face them and then take them on at any time. But there are some little things that Dogbe is supposed to put in check, especially. Dogbe, uh, Dogbe need to be a bit sneak in defense. Okay. That is the most important thing. Yeah, Dogbe need to be a bit sneak in defense. Dogbe, mm -hmm. Dogbe is a, 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 like, Dogbe is not a rock. I believe somebody might understand me. Right. Dogbe is not a right. rock. The power right. that comes out of Dogbe, if mm -hmm. you return to Dogbe, Dogbe cannot face it. Yes. That's the fact that everybody is supposed to. Yeah. The punches <laughs> that Dogbe sent out, Dogbe cannot right. receive those punches. So, right. Right. what right. he's supposed to be doing is to be sleeping. Dogbe is not like Azumanes. Dogbe right. is not as Azumanes is a rock. And then he give right. out the power. But Dogbe is a, 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 I may say, Dogbe have the power but don't have that rock to receive power. So okay. the best thing for him to do is to be sleek in a way. If he's sleek, and then when the power is coming to him, he should resist it by dodging and things like that. Then right. he'll be able to do everything. Nobody is there to... I don't see anybody there that can give Dogbe a problem if Dogbe work on his defense very well and try to be sleek defensively. No. Okay. 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 okay yeah. Uh all right, you just heard it from Amedoda himself, uh, one of the boxing panels that we have here at Cable TV and then in Ghana. Now, um, I want us to look at this one briefly about the invitation that the GBA sent out to promoters and the managers to sit down with them uh, for them to have a way forward for boxing. The meeting is supposed to happen on on the uh, 5th of August. Um, it's supposed to happen on the 5th of August. So um, that is the, the letter in your shot. Uh, they want to discuss the way forward for boxing. You know, um, in, in the rest of the world, boxing has started gradually. You know, boxing has started re returning gradually. We see that in the US, we've seen it in UK, we've seen it in, in Nicaragua, we've seen it in France, we've seen it in Germany, we've seen it in even Finland. Right? So I'm sure the GBH is trying to have a sit down with the promoters and then the managers for them to be able to come up with a, a roadmap for how boxing will return in Ghana. 
now you are back on the screen. Um, so, uh, so I'll start with you. I mean, how do you feel about this news that the GBA is, is trying to have a sit down um, to look at the full way forward for Ghana boxing? Uh, I think uh, the best thing is the best thing to come in um, from the uh, GBA because, okay. uh, like you said, most countries um, are starting boxing and things are picking up because right. even with the group, you can see football, the footballers, um, their league came back and they've been able to finish the league. Unlike uh, football, we, our, our sports, um, it happens any time of the month, any time of the year. We don't really have a schedule with that. So I think it's, it's good they are trying to get promoters on board to see the way forward. And then later, I saw they, they, were, uh, they wrote about sponsorship, online sponsorship, mm. and uh, other things. I think the online sponsorship is something that promoters have been waiting for for a long time. So right. uh, if this, uh, Corona has to come before the GB will bring in anything like this, then Corona has, has to be a blessing to uh, the promoters as well. So I think it's, it's good for Ghana boxing. Okay. All right. Very, very good um, comments coming in from Soa. Now, Amadou, I want to take this thing from you. I mean, what do you expect from this meeting that the GBA will be having with the managers and then the promoters, as well as the Trust Post and Forum Limited? Uh, well, I don't uh, uh, know exactly what the invitation is for. GBA is a, a problem on its own. Concerning anything that they are doing about boxing, GBA is a big problem. They are, they are, no, we don't know. Even they are, they are not helping Ghana boxing. GBA is not helping Ghana boxing. If you say they are not helping so, boxing, Ghana boxing, what do you mean by that? The, yeah, I have issue with GBA. What I mean is, the other time there was a news that even uh, 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 those, uh, uh, the amateur boxers that went to uh, this thing, Dakar, for the qualification to this thing have not been paid. Nothing has been given to them. Yeah, that one is under and the Ghana Boxing the... Federation. You know, uh, there's, okay, there's, a, there's, a, there's but... a difference. Yeah. Uh -huh. The Ghana Boxing Federation uh -huh. regulates the amateur boxing, and then the Ghana Boxing Authority regulates the uh -huh. professional boxing. Uh -huh. and, and those boxes, those boxes, those boxes, they are under. Uh, the boxes are the GBA, I believe. Which one? The one that went to Dakar? The boxes, yeah, the boxes they are under GBA. No, those who went to the that Dakar, uh, team. And, yeah, it's, that mature team is that's that mature team, so they are under the Bo Ghana Boxing Federation. Uh huh. So, GBF. if you organize people to go for uh, uh, this thing, and then as at now, they've not been paid anything. <laughs> what are you, know, you doing, GBA? You know, you know, you know when uh, before these guys, I, I think it's a very good thing that you brought it up. Let's 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 try and discuss it also briefly. Before uh -huh. the Ghana uh, the, the Ghana amateur team left for Dakar, there were uh -huh. some problems already. All right, were, if I mean yeah. problems, uh -huh. it had to do with raising of funds to um, enable the boys or the, the the team travel to Dakar. Um, I had a conversation yeah. with the Ghana Boxing Federation president as at that time, uh, Mr. Lampe. He was even on cable TV. He stressed on some of the stuff that the challenges that they were having that the minister himself in Ghana was not even helping them, sort of. The Ghana, uh, the National Sports Authority were supposed to also do some things for the Ghana Boxing amateur team, which they, they also didn't do. Um, when the guys landed in Dakar, they, they, they had to cough up money from individual people to be able to, you know, to complete all these things. If there is somebody that we will have to pull or blame at now, especially with the, 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 the Dakar people, the, the amateur team going to the Dakar, it would be the minister and the National Sports Authority because they didn't do their job well. Because from the Federation point of view, they, they, they had done everything, provided the documents and everything, that they needed funding and backing from the government to make it happen. So they didn't do what they were supposed to do. But in, nevertheless, the guys went there, did their best. At the end of the day, we had two slots. All right. Now, that is on the Ghana Boxing Federation side. When the guys came back, um, before they left, we already knew that the, the National Sports Authority did not want to... That was the, the president said categorically that he wasn't going to pay them their per diem before they left. You understand? So if there's any fire, I think I have to take the fire from you right now. 
what kind of fire would you have to give these people? <laughs> well, it's very funny. It's funny. You see, it's funny. And GBA is mute. They can't talk. They don't talk. They don't even. That, that, they never ask any questions. Like I'm saying, this one is under the Ghana Boxing Federation. You know, it's not under the GBA. Uh, it, <laughs> the GBA cannot talk for them. Boss, it's like it's, it's it's like it's no, it's like a medoda. It's like you having an organization, uh, right? And me also okay. having an organization. And then you want me to come and talk about the organization. Mm. Definitely, me as a professional, me as a professional body, I have people under me, right? Who I'm man, who I'm taking care of. The Ghana Box Authority takes care of the professional boxing, all right? And then the Ghana Box Federation takes care take care of the national amateur boxes, the black bombers. Mm -hmm. They you are. understand. Uh huh. So what you're talking so is that is why we're supposed to direct our fire to. We have to direct it to the. I, for me, I have seen the national uh, uh, president work. All right, I have seen him go yeah. to sponsors. I have seen him go to even submit a letter to the to the um, the, the national sports authority, which they needed to have a feedback. They were tossing them back and forth, back and forth. Before the guys left, I was with Mr. Samet at Free Square Gym. On that Thursday, that before the Friday, that was to travel. He was he had sent documents and was waiting for them to give him feedback. And then he was sitting there complaining, talking. When will Ghana boxing go on? When will Ghana box? People will come and blame them. Mm -hmm. Tell them that the reason why the mm -hmm. things are not going on and all that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. you see, this kind of thing, I think um, the last two weeks, I yeah. spoke about the thing. Right. No, football has been grounded. So nice. When it's time for a competition, when it's time for a, a tournament, right? Nobody needs to be chasing people, right? Government is willing to give the money to them, right? But if you are in that idea, uh -huh. and the only time that people will talk about boxing uh -huh. is probably the Olympics, or a boxer will struggle himself to get to the top, right? And when he gets to the top, mm -hmm. you know nobody even cares because. They don't invest anything into the boxes. Right. But you see, if the DBA, right, the Ghana Boxing Foundation, uh -huh. they can start something on their own. Uh -huh. Please, every uh, every two weeks or every one month, there's a fight somewhere. Right. You see, if you are doing if if you are doing good, you are hosting good fights locally. Right. People will automatically come. Or you see that the 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 sports ministry are talking about like this. To me, they, they see themselves as uh, a business entity. Okay. They only invest in you when they know they won't get anything from you. Okay. Because we in this country um, 2014, uh, 2014 Brazil. You saw you saw what happened with money right. issues. Because right. anybody believes with the football, they can also get something to put into their pocket. Okay. So the football has become more of um, a good business for them. Mm -hmm. Not like boxing. Because the boxing, even when he's supposed to make calculations, mm -hmm. how much can he take? To put it to his, uh, his pocket. Okay. He won't get anything. Okay. It all boils down to branding. Okay. You see, if the GP, before football will get to you look at someone like Christian Tichi. When Christian Tichi came, came for uh, the GFA president, GFA was, was not a uh, position people would even like to be, people would even like to be there. Mm -hmm. People didn't want to be. Uh, the Ghana football president or something. But he came in, he changed the whole thing. You see, okay. you have to start something on yourself. So as a GBA president of the uh, Ghana Federation, Boxing Federation president, you have to start something yourself. You see, when you start, you see, that's what Nyantichi did. And we qualified to the 2006 World Cup. Mm -hmm. you, you can see what the GFA looks like after okay. now. Okay. Money comes from, uh, money comes from FIFA, money comes from you, money comes from, money comes from you. Because they've put in work and they are now reaping. So if we boxing, uh, boxing uh, GB and the uh, Ghana Federation will make it complaints to, uh, they will make it complaints to the sports ministry. Sports ministry is not doing this. You see, the ministry is a lot of offers go, and you just can't wait when it's Olympics before you send your offer. Don't don't even like look at it. The way you want them to look, uh, that, that attention you want from them, they wouldn't give you that attention. You have to pay attention for yourself. Let the let the let the, uh, the let the sports ministry see boxing to be a good business. And you think boxing is a good business? No, so but very, very good. You, you know what? The the reason why I, I I'm 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 disagreeing on this part is because at the amateur level, it is not like the professional level. 
we see what's done around across the across the world even the u.s amateur boxers we see them having the backing of the government and they have the backing of the back government like that see the Indeed. great britain see, see the Indeed. great britain right they have the gb the gb boxing right and then when they are doing their sport you see the whole nation behind them because they are they don't by by virtue of them being this thing they don't raise they don't raise revenues it's an opportunity for Good. you to learn all right they don't raise, they don't raise revenues at that age if i take you to an amateur show in ghana for instance that let's go and watch an amateur show it's not a show that we are going to go that we'll see people go pay ticket and go watch that is why they usually they, they they mix it with the professionals like the feast of fury where we have the the amateur boxes and then we have the professional box so that at least the post the person coming to watch the professional boxing will have a feel of how um, the boys are developing and because these are the same boys that will feed the professional side with you understand Good. So, now, Ruby, i okay. like to make a point mm -hmm. you see when you talk about great Britain and you talk about the us i think they are the uh -huh. only two countries mm -hmm. you can make a strong point on. now okay. go to you go to Germany, mm -hmm. go to uh france go to the other mm -hmm. countries they don't get the support the Great Britain and the U.S. I get to you see U.S. and Great Britain when it comes to boxing worldwide, there's a competition mm -hmm. between them, mm -hmm. and they they see, they didn't they didn't just get to where they are. Mm -hmm. U.S. started boxing, started mm -hmm. making million. Mm -hmm. Now Great Britain came in. They realized mm -hmm. that at the professional level, it's about mm -hmm. millions, and it's about mm -hmm. to get the politics to back um, the boxes. You see, right. one thing these people believe in is that. When you promote your sport and you have a lot of rich people there, they mm -hmm. are able to tax them. So the government sees it as a business, even when you are, when you get a world champion, you get a, a world champion taking in about maybe 50 million pairs, 50 million pounds mm -hmm. They don't take their tax. Mm -hmm. You see, they can see the money coming. So if they are going to invest into the amateur, they don't fear. You get me? I understand, I understand the point you're raising. When you go to the other countries, mm -hmm. they, 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 they pay more, they invest more into the football because no, no, I mean, no, 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 it is not to the other countries. We see what's happening with France, like I'm saying, the France and the Germany and the rest of the people. Yes. Yeah, the same people we see, even, yeah. even, even with um, um, this country, in the country, um, uh, the Matenko's country, oh, Ukraine. His name? Ukraine. Ukraine, and all those people, you understand? It is not. It is not just that, you understand? There is something wrong with the way uh, the ministry or, let me say, the National mm -hmm. Authority funds mm -hmm. boxing. You see, to be, no, in, in every situation, you have, to, you have to realize, you have to see how your people behave. All right. In every situation. Mm -hmm. Africans, we, we don't like, um, let's say, we don't like cooking it. Mm -hmm. But everybody will come to eat when it's well cooked. People are not ready to invest, like start from the scratch. This is Africa. So, you see, in Africa, when you talk about entrepreneurs, no, you talk about. No, before you, you go to that side, whose responsibility then is it to develop the national sports team? Is it an individual? Is it, is it, that's why we have the GBA. That's why we have the GBA. No, no, no. That's that's why why the GBA. No, the topic is now with. Um, Amadoda wanted to understand. What's happening with the Dakar? I mean, that, if I'm right, I, I, I want I want to I want to get your question right. I wanted to understand what happened with the with the, with the Dakar, right? Yeah. yeah. What what I am saying or what what I am saying is mm -hmm. the authorities concerning mm -hmm. boxing are not helping the boxing. They are not helping boxing in Ghana at all. Okay. Yes, they are not helping boxing. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of things. And if the Ghana Amateur Boxing Federation is not talking, mm -hmm. GBA is not mm -hmm. talking, who is going to talk for these people? And then they will mature and then become professional boxers. There's some, something is not going right. That is the main thing we should face. Something is not going right. Let's try and do something for being in a national team as a boxer, should be something that somebody will feel very okay with. That's true. That is affecting even our professional yeah. boxers. Why? Because what they're supposed to learn during their amateur time, the, the state is not giving them that chance to learn right. it as amateur before they migrate into 
uh, professional boxing. It's affecting okay. the whole Ghana. It's affecting the whole boxing in Ghana. Okay. Okay. You understand? And if understand. the people that are in authority, they are not talking, then who is going to talk? Who is going to put somebody on, uh, 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 on his, his toe to do what he's supposed to do? If the ministry is not bringing money and you, the uh, uh, Ghana Amateur Federation, you are there, you are not talking. GBA, who will take care after, uh, after the boxers, who will take care of the boxers after they migrate from the uh, uh, amateur? He's also not talking. Nobody is talking. So what is going on? Is I think you understand what, what, with, what I'm saying. I understand, yeah. I understand. So it's now they say GBA is saying he's calling. He's calling a meeting to meet with people. What? Do you know that even, uh, 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 what, what's the name, uh, 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 the, 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 this thing, the arena, the arena uh -huh. is built for boxing, but right. boxing is not taking place in arena now. If you want to stay boxing in arena, the money that you will spend, <laughs> will not, you see, all these things, <laughs> you see, all these things, but, nobody is talking. I remember, I remember. No demonstration, was, nothing, nothing was, is going uh, on. Um, there was a meet the press in the time, that time, uh -huh. the, the, minister that, the minister that we met was the minister of sport. And all the journalists that came were asking questions, and most of them were in relation to football. And so I went down there to ask the minister what his outfit was going to do to be able to cut down the price at the Bukum Baxin Arena, because that's why they said it was built. I, I didn't get a response for me to leave there to go like, okay, there was something that was going to be made about the price. As, as I speak to you, the price has never reduced. It kept increasing. So like I'm saying, the 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 president might try or the secretary might try but the state itself that was the thing you've built an arena for this purpose right you've built an arena for this purpose and if you've, you've organized and meet the press that people in sport to come to come and meet you and tell you their problems and see how you find a way forward for the sport and then we come there and then we tell you our problem. You don't give us a response that will make us feel like you're going to do that, something about it. And it's like more than seven to eight months after that made the press and up to today. So I don't see the minister or I have not seen the MSA done anything about it. So as a president, as you the president, and I, and, and I went there, like I said, unless I'm the president of the Ghana Boxing Authority or the Ghana Boxing Federation, which, whichever president I am. And I went there to, to, to say this thing, and I've already written my petition and everything gone. And there's nothing done. In the eyes of the public, everybody will hold me accountable. But the person who's not doing the thing is the minister and the National Sports Authority who are supposed to make things run for us all to enjoy. Is it, uh, uh, Kobe, Kobe, is it, yes. This is a very good point you're making. Yes. And it was, uh, you see, what you're saying, I'm saying the same thing, but I'm trying to put a solution to it. You see, the thing is, mm -hmm. The, the uh, national sports, uh, the sports ministry, mm -hmm. they 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 won't come and help you now. Okay. And that's the reality. You see, the moment you accept this, mm -hmm. you can see what you can do next. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Because they they are focused. When you talk about ministry of sports, they are focused on just football. The other sports, they have to basically back before they even get ticket to try uh, to fly uh, to national tournament. Right. So you see you. You face reality. Mm -hmm. We know boxing won't get support. Mm -hmm. So what can we do as a GFA president, as a, as a GBA president, as a federation, the boxing federation president? What do you do? Mm -hmm. Now, you must make sure you are able to generate money to make your own ministry or your uh, association very strong. Or you see, you got to a time when announced when announced it is supposed to be. You got the time, GFA was so strong that the, the president couldn't even control GFA. No, no. Why no, was, the, why, why the, was No, no. Like, the, the reason why it is like that is because Ghana, Ghana uh, GFA is under FIFA. That's the same way Ghana Boxing Authority, That's sorry, right. Ghana Boxing Federation is under IBA. You know, there are differences with this. If IBA, if IBA says, okay, then let these people get, because when there's a tournament, First of all, Iba will bring money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, I, 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 I will help them in a way. But there's a, there's a number. And as a, and as a country, you definitely want your, your, uh, your, your, let's say your participants or your, the people who represent Ghana to go as, ma as many as possible so that you can do what? Have a higher chance of getting a lot of people to go. So let's say if the, the Iba or whatever is saying, I'm going to help like, let's say five people. You, want, you know that maybe you can take like 10 or 20 people to go to a tournament. 
and maybe at the end of the competition, we'll get like maybe 10 people. But if you take five, maybe you can get only one person. Like in that case, the guys that want to compete in the Dakar were 10. And we got two people to uh, represent or win or qualify for the Olympic Games. So usually the more people you take them, the higher your, your chances of, you know, of, of, of qualifying or number of people to qualify. Now, what is really, really... I understand where you're coming from. Then, then, then it means that then you want the national sport, sorry, the national uh, president to own the federation. Is that what you're saying? No, what, what I'm saying uh, is <laughs> the GBA, uh -huh. the Ghana Boxing Federation, uh -huh. they must come together. And understand we are the boxing bodies. Uh -huh. And right now we are not getting support from the Ministry of Sports. So what can we do to generate ink, uh, to start generating something for ourselves that even when there is a tournament, even when there is uh, there is something, there is even something locally that we are doing, we can even give out space to put it in Okay, use this space to make this fight. Okay. You see, the more attractive the sport is, the more you get played, you get a lot of people coming on board. Okay. You see, if, if we are saying we are going to fight the mutual sport, to win, they're going to give us support. Then uh -huh. thousand years will come and we'll still not achieve anything. Okay. Because you see, it's really a responsibility. But what you must understand is that they are failing to do it. And okay. once they are failing to do it, you have to put your destiny into your own hands. Start okay. something. When you start, I believe, I believe that if the GBA everything will be okay. So what I'm doing is saying, if they will listen, if the GBA, the Ghana Muslim uh, Federation will listen. And start something themselves without relying. You see that you've been relying on the officials for a long time, and they are not giving it. So, as I know, we can point figures at the DB and the Ghana Boxing Federation. We can point figures at them that they are failing us. And it's true, you are failing us because so you are looking at someone to work with. The person is not here. So, you have to do something for us. All right. All right. I'd like you to add your voice so that we move on to some different topic because this particular topic. When it, anytime it comes up, I'm not, I won't lie to you. It really, it really, really strange me because I know a lot of these guys who are trying to be able to represent Ghana at the Olympic Games and then at the Commonwealth Games and all that. But the structures are not really, the, the structures are just structures like you see, like as structures, right? But we don't see the, fun, the, 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 the finance that needs. Or that need that, 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 that structures for them to be able to give us glory, yeah. like make them to become. That's why we see no. most of the guys turning professional in yeah. seven, eight years now because they do, they don't. First of all, the qualification to the games is a problem. The individual championship that they compete at the national sports stadium or wherever is also a problem for them. Some some of them feel like they compete and they are they have some kind of favoritism there and all that. You know. You know, that's just one that one that that will discuss. But, but I don't know that the last one is before we move on to another topic. So, okay. So what I would say now, if a GBA or whatever is inviting the managers, the promoters, and things like that, they should put all these things in consideration and make sure that boxing is live in Ghana. Because the arena is being built for boxing, but it's only funeral that is taking place there now and party. <laughs> You see, and yeah, and the people are not talking. So the invitation that they are doing now, they should consider all these things and make sure that boxing become boxing, and then uh, uh, we take it up from there. Okay, I mean, the boxing arena is being used for fighting. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. They can use it because you know these people where they are doing the fight and they have the play the venue like this. The gun right. communities they like to have they like engagement, right. uh naming ceremony. So I believe what I do that is say. I mean there's one thing that I part. I, I, I only expect to come out from this meeting uh, God willing on um, faith when uh, Wednesday, next week Wednesday, is the way forward for them to be able to broadcast live boxing. Um, for the viewers to be able to watch, because whether we like it or not, see the future of boxing has always been, especially for we in Africa, has always been the media bit. It, 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 it's high time that the media helps boxing, especially Ghana boxing, for the viewers at home to be also be able to watch. Because the only reason why we've, we've been able to embrace football like we have done in Ghana is because 
if you see some Metro TV, you see football, they'll do European highlights, they'll do all the highlights in the world, and it is all football. You understand? You don't see them really put the boxing for like in the in the eyes of the viewers like that. And believe me or not, what the viewers see is what they love. If I if every day I come here and I post boxing, 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 you love it. If I if I start putting football stuff here, you love it as well. You understand? So I feel like uh, we we we'll really see with the national um, television channels to to help the boxers, and that way the boxers will even be able to. You know the prices will go up because people will watch the the the, the, the fights from their houses, and in a way, being the, those being content, find a way of giving um buying, giving some monies to the GBA, and the GBA will also you know or let the money go down to the to the boxers. And all right, so let's talk about the possibility of Manny Pacquiao fighting uh, Torres Confort as uh, said by Boberum, and then we'll take it from there. I'll take it straight from um... Yeah, um, Manny Pacquiao have a problem on its own. Yeah, Manny Pacquiao have problem on its own. Uh, especially dealing with Bob Aru. Because, you okay. know, uh, that fight can happen, mm -hmm. but it depends on Manny Pacquiao himself to mm -hmm. make it happen. Okay. But Babaru can propose for the fight, mm -hmm. but if Manny Pacquiao is not ready for that fight, it All will right. not happen. Because okay. there's a problem between Babaru and Manny Pacquiao for some time now. Okay. Before even he will leave the camp of Babaru, there, there was a problem. Okay. There was a time uh, Bobaru was trying to make uh, 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 what's the name? Bud Crawford. Okay. The eye. Yeah. Right. In place of right. yeah, in place of Pacao. Okay. So before uh, 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 the arrangement of the fight against uh, uh, Crawford and uh, uh, what's the name? Horn. That fight supposed to take place in US, and then uh -huh. Pacao will fight under card. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then Pakao have pa Paco have a problem with that. All right. Bobaru is just trying to hype uh, 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 to to make this guy to replace Pakao uh, Crawford to replace Pakao as a as an eye. You okay. understand? That is all okay. Pakao have problem with. And okay. I believe that is also playing part. That is why that fight did not happen till now. Okay. Okay. So if Pakao Pakao now Pakao is now old. Pakao mm -hmm. is very old now. And these guys over there, those guys over there now, Pakao is not ready to fight any of them. If I talk about uh, 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 this guy, what's the name? Uh, 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 Terence Crawford. Crawford. Mm -hmm. Then I talk about Eros Pence. Eros Pence. And then I talk about Porter. Pakao is not ready yeah. to fight any of those guys. You think yeah. all these Pacquiao guys is not ready to fight? Post a very big uh, no, they'll, they'll give, they'll give, they'll give Pakao a very big problem. And okay. Pacquiao saw it from far. That is why he don't take the fight against the against Spence because he talked about that fight before the time. But he see he 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 realized that no, the guy is old now. If you face that young guy, that young lion, in fact, you cannot you cannot get it cheap. Okay, you understand. <laughs> that is the right. main reason why he even refused the uh, 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 what's, what what's the name the the the, the, the rematch against Horn. Oh, okay. You see, Pacquiao okay. is very good, but he's old. The truth should be told. He's old. Okay. You see, right. so the same uh, thing uh, 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 this guy Crawford, Crawford will be a better, a better fight for no Crawford will be a better fight for Pacquiao because Crawford is not that like he's not have that kind of power to strike all over, but he'll use the skills. So Pacquiao might take that fight. I believe that fight can happen. Okay. And if it happens, Pacquiao right. will lose anyway, but still. You would love to take that fight. You know, it, it, I, I, I was about to wait for you to post on that, but you said it anyway. So, uh, what did you say? <laughs> First of all, I'll start from Bobaro. Okay. Bobaro is just a good team. They milk money out of it. Okay. He has been for so long. Mm -hmm. He used Pacao. He made so much money out of Pacao. Mm. Again, when Mayweather was able to opt out and go to BBC, 
Okay. That is when Papa also realized uh, Baba Ram is making money out of him. So, there will be some free kids. They see, during their time, during their active time, you will see there was a big competition between Pakao and Mayweather. Right. And if Mayweather was able to move, uh, move out of the top one, and if they give me lots, they keep showing it. Pakao will also go to Baba Ram and tell Baba Ram, listen, you have to give me some good news. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, 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 with that beef, that's what they rated the beef. Okay. Now, Baba Ram was a businessman. He has realized Pakao is is out is out of the game. So even even though he's giving good fights, people are willing to pay. People are willing to uh, pay to watch him. Mm -hmm. The time will come. He won't be there anymore. So he has to bring someone out. Okay. And he's putting all his effort on Crawford. Mm -hmm. You see, with these two fights, uh, with this fight, boy uh, Pakao and Terence Crawford, mm -hmm. I tell you, um, Pakao is money wise. When talk about money wise, mm. who is bringing more money into the table? Pakao. Who is right. going to give a great fight? Pakao. All right. Who who uh, who is going to dominate the fight? Pakao. I see right. Pakao dominating in all levels. All right. You see, all right. Terence Crawford for If Terence Crawford, uh, Terence Crawford mm. will be at one forty-seven. Mm -hmm. And started boxing, he didn't start boxing um, in the year 2015. All, right. all just all of a sudden, you pop out and you say you're a champion, not a champion. Come here with that, Pacao, they prove. And you see, when they have time, you can't come out. All right. They were underdogs. And all right. You see, these people, when you look at people like Crayford and Errol Spence, mm -hmm. see, I don't see those people as big boxes. That's yeah. why Canelo is, is the face of boxing today. That is why Canelo is the first of because Canelo when uh, Pacquiao when Mayweather were in the active days, he was taking big fights. Right. You see, these are the kind of people that when Mayweather and Pacquiao are finally gone, they can dominate and make millions. And you can see the kind of money Can Canelo is making today. Right. I don't see I don't see Crayford winning this fight. Okay. I think it will be embarrassed. Okay. Because, you see, it's what American. When it's what okay. American, American was not in. It was not in good shape. Okay. Crawford has not fought anybody. And when when uh, Medoda is talking about Pacquiao uh, not being able to beat Errol Spence, not being able to beat Sean Potter, not being able to beat uh, who again? Who, who again did he even mention? You see, all the boxers are 147. I tell yes. you, none of them are match Pacquiao. And I'm telling right. you this on authority. Right. None of them are talking about Pacquiao. Right. Pacquiao beat, you see what Pacquiao did to uh, Ketoma. And you saw what Ketoma did to Sean Potter. So if Pacquiao is able to beat, he's able to beat Toma and disgrace yeah. him. You see, to disgrace Toma like he did, then you should fear him. Right. You should fear him. Okay. Because I don't see anybody at 147 matching Pacquiao. I tell you. Unless okay. maybe he fight Canelo attached with, that's when he'll be disgraced. Or he fight the new king or the new upcoming king. For 147, who is Virgil Ortiz? Okay. Virgil Ortiz from Golden Boy Commission. Right. Those are the people that can give a cow problem. Not those bombs, not those people that when Bossy was starting, 147 was starting, 135 was starting, 154 was starting, right. they were nowhere to be found. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, great. Let me take this comment coming in from one of my favorite viewers, Michael Baron Corte. Is that coffee? Please ask the guy, please. It's you. So, ask the guy in blue shirt if it were to be him, would he give himself to the young ones to whip him like a baby and let them know that even champions will sometimes have to dodge the best ones for them to, not to worry about them? I'm sure he's talking about the, um, the, the, the Pacquiao fight, that you think he will give himself a, to that small boy to, to rape him? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, it, take it again, take it again, sorry. Yeah. Are you with me? The, the, uh -huh. the truth is, Pacquiao is not going to take fight against those guys. Pacquiao will be beating will be beaten by all those uh, especially those top three guys uh yeah. what's the name crawford spence crawford. and then potter this guy if uh, uh, daniel is talking about uh, uh, what's the name uh, 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 thomas thomas is a sick person thomas did not fight for two years he's a sick guy so that's why he won't take, 
Thomas was a champion, and then yeah, he was a champion, and then he was holding that title. You hold it. He was holding that title for how many years? For two years without right. climbing a ring. Yeah. So if Pacquiao is taking that fight, Pacquiao know the calculation very well. That is why he took that fight. Pacquiao mm -hmm. climbed the ring against uh, what's the name? Uh, 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 this guy. What's the name? Uh, uh, Garcia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Garcia versus uh, what's the name? Garcia versus uh, Spence. Pacquiao okay. promised that he's going to fight the winner of that fight. Okay, and yeah, Pacquiao was then believing that. Yeah, right. yeah, and then during the fight, Pacquiao was at the ringside, and then after the fight, he climbed the ring and shake hand with uh, 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 Spence and said that Spence, mm -hmm. you and I. Mm -hmm. After that, mm -hmm. Pacquiao never talked about that fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pacquiao never talk about that fight again. You understand? No, no, no. no. The, the thing is, Pacquiao know that Pacquiao know very well that that fight. He's not going to win that fight. When the money is not right, So the good fight for Pacquiao now, good fight for Pacquiao at one forty-seven now is uh, 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 Crawford because Crawford will beat him, but Crawford will not wound him. Oh, you understand? <laughs> Crawford will beat Pacquiao, but he will not win Pacquiao. But Spence will beat Pacquiao and win Pacquiao. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> is it Pacquiao? <laughs> so Crawford will beat him, but he will not win him. Man! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see what he said? Right. But see, I'm listening. Pacquiao is the kind of boxer. Uh -huh. Pacquiao doesn't fear any boxer at all. Right, that's true. Throughout his career, he doesn't fear any boxer. No, he's not. The reason why Garcia, the Garcia fight didn't happen is that you uh -huh. see, he's having problem with top man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. You see, what you must know is that these big boxes, Pacquiao, mm -hmm. Mayweather, Canelo, mm -hmm. Joshua, those mm -hmm. big boxes, not the money is not right. They will never take a fight. Right, right. Right. So this, the game is changing. Has been able as judge and has been able to do the work three fights because right. he, thinks, he thinks the money is no good. Okay. If I judge the lenders were supposed to have been buying, he said the money is no good. So you okay. So you see, if the money is no good, don't blame Patel. Yeah, Patel yeah. is ready to fight anyone. Okay. He doesn't fear anyone. He fought Bruna. He fought. Uh, he fought Tema. It should tell you the kind of person he is. Okay. When okay. the money is right, it will come into the ring. Right, right. When the money is right, it will come into the ring. For me, I'm very, very excited that I mean uh, we have divided opinions. This is this is how this is supposed to always be supposed to be anyway. We are supposed to get opinions from different guys. So the hype can keep the hype can be there so that when the, the time is up for us to win the fight. We can have people like Amedo now. We can have people like Wawa so that you can have a fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> this one, this one, this one, this one. Um, uh, do you have something to say? <laughs> yeah, all that I want to say. Is, uh, uh, one thing, uh, Boba Room is sitting mm -hmm. on uh, Crawford too much. He's not helping Crawford. Boba Room is not helping Crawford. <clears throat> Crawford is a very good boxer, mm -hmm. and he fought. He fought nine fights and then won. Titles and undisputed and things like that, but uh, uh, Bob Arum is not helping him. Mm. I don't know why Bob is doing that. He's not helping the guy, so he should allow the guy to fight the fight that he wants to fight because the guy wants to fight, but Bob Arum is not helping the guy to fight. But maybe so the guys are also coming for, for them to pair them against them. What? How about that? Come again. The guys are not coming for it for them to be able to pair with them with them. Him with them. Mm -hmm. So no, 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 no. Crawford is ready to fight anybody, and the guys are also ready to fight Crawford. But Bobarum is not helping. God, Bobarum is just about his money, his pocket. That is all he's thinking about. If he allow Crawford to fight, eh, uh -huh. to fight other guys, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and forget about the money, the uh, the money that he wants to make from uh, from the fight, eh, uh -huh. Crawford uh -huh. will be a big guy. He's okay. a big guy, but he'll still be a, a selling guy. Yeah. Right, so right, I want to hear from you. What I understand is that yeah. in, in Queen, we, have, we have an account where that says, I go FM, then I'll be a go share. Okay. If, if you are fighting, you will fight for many years. Like what I did, fight for many years, you don't give good fights, 
Okay. Your fight is not interesting. How many views are you going to get? And my mom is a big guy. He's a businessman. Okay. He has a lot of money. Okay. And he wants to make a lot of money. Mm. He has a lot of boxes as well. So someone who has all these things, as his, um, he, he has all these things. He will not allow Crayford to be a um, headline fight that he will not make money. At least he will look at it. He has to look at boxes that will give him money. And that's what is happening. And you see, when Crayford wants to fight someone from PBC, the Baron and uh, you know, they have a problem, right? Big problem, mm -hmm. they don't create so for you to make a fight for them, when I say free for two order, they uh, Frank had to go through Queensberry promotion, which right. is Frank, Frank Warren, to be able to open the throne to get that PDC. Uh, to get the WBC title from uh, the PBC account. Because you see, Peace was not making good fight for the WBC title. Okay. So, top rank went to back Queensberry promotion so that mm. they can be able to get a title. So it was a co-promotional deal between top rank and Queensberry promotion against PBC. And you see, so top rank was going to get a game for long. That's a free promotional warrant. Right. Yeah, from yeah, and uh, he, they signed a co-promotional deal with Open. So, yes. uh, usually, usually the uh, how do you call it? The inter, 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 or the yeah, let's say that the, the, the first promotion doesn't really happen. That's what killing boxing in any way, because every 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 promotional company is trying to protect their boxes. Good. So you see, top rank. When you look at Frank Warren, when you look at Frank Warren and um, Bob Arum, they've been uh -huh. friends from way back. They are right. very good friends. Mm. And you see, that of BBC heavyweight title, it has been at the PBC count for long. Right. So when even when you see the time uh, Frank Warren was pushing for the fight, he was not getting it. But Frank mm. Warren, to his promotion, his promotion had gone down. Right. The big names were. Golden Boy, Top Rank, and PBC. Queensberry was not in the game. Right. So he had to use a big firm like Top Rank to sign a whole promotional deal to be able to make a fight. And you see, right. when you start when you sign with Obama and he knows the money is good, you will give, you will be able to get the politics to massacre things for you. But in that fight, okay. in the second fight, I saw Bomaro keep saying that Fury is going to beat Wada. He, he knew okay. he knew Fury was going to was going to beat Wada. So <laughs> Fury has some assurance. Yeah. And all of my big guy. So you see, for Crayford, Crayford has not been able to prove himself. So you right. see, those people, those people that immediately came after Mayweather, Pacquiao, mm. um, Joshua Conte, uh, Margarito, Miguel yeah. yeah. those people that immediately came after them, they are, they are all white boxes. Those boxes are no good boxes. They are no money making machines. The next generation. That is coming up for them. They are the money making machines, and people must keep an eye on them okay. and give them opportunities as soon as possible. If really we want boxing to make money, we want we want uh, we want boxers to make money as well. Okay. You look at Virgil Ortiz, you look at Ryan Garcia, you look at Lopez, you look at Richie Comey, you look at mm. big big names, right? Big big names, right? And they are making right. for the fight more interesting. Okay, it's not their time. But you see the kind of generation, the noise they are making for themselves. All okay. like uh, Terence Bayford, Errol Spence, Sean Potter, Ketema. You see, they didn't do anything in their prime. All right. So, all right. I mean, that must take it, it must, it must notice that. Okay, all right. Our time, is fast. Our time is fast, man, guys. But I want us to talk about this um, this topic, too, before we go. Um, the possibility of um, the guys that you just see on, the, on, on, on my screen. Uh, Santa Cruz and Javonta Davis. Uh, it, it, this two fight, this two, this pair are also being uh, lined or uh, be able to face each other in in October, uh, somewhere around twenty fourth. It's another big fight that is also coming on. Um, I would like to take your your suggestions on this one, and then we will sign out. So I'll take it from Soa, and then I'll end it on Amedoda. Okay, I think it will, it will be a very interesting fight. Like I was yes. saying, the third mm. generation after Mayweather Dames, mm. uh, Pacquiao Dames, uh -huh. this third generation, I tell you, they are making boxing so interesting. Right. They are making people come to boxing. People mm -hmm. are searching them, following them on uh, social media and all that. 
Right. Because they give good fight. Right. They want to give you a good fight. Leo Santa right. Cruz will give you a good fight. But with this fight, I think I'll go for Givonta. I'll go for Givonta. Givonta because Givonta. I think I love his brand. I like the way he brands. He brands, but it's, it's neat. And I think what he says uh, before the fight, he's able okay. to do it. So I'll go for him. And coming from Mayweather's camp, I mm. think money wise, he's conscious. He knows okay. when he fights, he has to make good money. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> he, will pay, he will pay attention. And I like people, I like bosses who, who, who talks about money, who brag and they will make the money. Okay. Because everything is, is about the money. If okay. bosses, if Mayweather was able to become um, the, the highest paid uh, boxer for that time, mm. I think what Givonta is doing, I'll bag Givonta. Even though it will be a very big fight, it won't take it easy. I'll go for Givonta because I like people that will stand and make Boston attractive. Inspire people that want to come to Boston. If Jibonta in his prime, Jibonta is now just coming up. He's the third generation. And he, Los Santa Cruz, they are giving good fight. They are making good money. You will definitely be inspired at, okay, let me come in and also come and start boxing. Or let me come and invest in boxing because the boys are making the, uh, the sport attractive and money is coming out of the sport. But okay. I'll go for, like I said, I'll go for Jibonta. Okay, all right, great. Um I mean, let me also get your feedback. I mean, these two fights, what do you think? Uh, Why? Because uh, uh, Tang was finding it very difficult to make the weight mm -hmm. at, uh, 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 what, what, what's the name? Uh, uh, Feather, is it Feather weight? Super featherweight, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for super featherweight tank was finding it very difficult to make mm. the weight. Mm. You understand? Mm. Now he moved up to uh, lightweight, okay, right. and then he's a title holder right. at lightweight now. That's true. Now that they are arranging the fight for him to come down to where he was finding the problem, yeah, that is the problem that I have with this fight. That's true. True. Okay, that's the problem that I have. I don't know why. Uh, 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 what was the name? Why? Uh, PBC. What's the name? The Are promoters. Yeah, the, the, the tank, tank promoters are, are, are giving him mm. this fight. Mm. You understand? Because he was finding it very difficult to make no, the weight already. Fight, okay. And then there are a good fight, fight okay. at the... At the, at the, at the, at the maybe you didn't get weight. this communication clear. Even though both titles, the, the Super Featherweight uh -huh. title and then the... Um, so for featherweight title and then the lightweight title, the BBAs will be on the line. Tank will have to make the lightweight mm -hmm. weight. And then, um, how do you call him? Leo Santa Cruz will have to make the spa featherweight weight if he, if, for the fight to happen. So he, he, he won't really necessarily have to go down to make the super featherweight. Go down to super featherweight? No, no, no. He won't have to. To make the super featherweight. And... No, no, no. Oh, no. okay. So he will compete. They, 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 they will compete at that particular weight. Oh, Just okay. that the two titles will be on the line. Um, reduce Santa Cruz's WBA featherweight title, uh, uh, World's featherweight title will be on the line, and then um, Tanks also WBA regular title will also be on the line, and then they'll compete. It's it's uh, this, this, thing, this, 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 this has happened only one time in history, the second time it's happening. Oh, oh okay, yeah. but that's, that's another confusion, you see, that's another yeah. confusion, I may say. Yeah. But if it is like that, that Tank will be on. The, uh, the lightweight to fight against uh, what's the name to fight against this guy, then right. Santa Cruz is in a big trouble. He's in a big trouble. That's mm -hmm. right. that, that yes, Santa I, Cruz is in a big trouble. Yeah. They are. Because uh, Tank is there for everything. Tank have the skills, everything to destroy uh, 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 Santa Cruz at any time. Santa Cruz is right. a very good boxer. But right. if it comes right. to something, Santa Cruz cannot match with uh, a Tank. So Santa right. Cruz is in a trouble. I believe, right. like, the weight, like, he will be making the lower weight for Santa Cruz to fight him at the, uh, this thing, what's the name, uh, 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 Super Featherweight. That would be a problem right. for uh, a Tank. But if Tank is maintaining okay. his uh, lightweight to fight Santa Cruz, then Santa Cruz is in the trouble. I, I, I will not understand why Santa Cruz would choose to take that fight. Santa Cruz was the one insisting that he really wants to fight Tank. Do I, I that is my surprise. I'm surprised. <laughs> Because yeah. with all these things which are going to, like, first of all, the weight is going to go against you and all that, and still want to take in the <laughs> fight and all that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what, what do you think goes through the mind of these workers when they are fighting? 
Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, that's, the same, that's the same mistake this guy did. What's the name? Uh, 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 this Garcia guy. He did the same yeah. thing against Crawford, uh, against, against uh, Spence. And up to yeah, today, yeah, yeah, he, didn't, yeah. Yeah, he didn't get it. He did, no, he don't know what he's doing on himself. You see? And that's the problem that this guy is also causing to himself. He, he'll be beaten. Yes. Uh, Santa Cruz will be beaten by Tank. There's no way he can win that fight. Okay. All right. It looks like, it looks like they are, this is the only topic that both of you have agreed on the win now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right, great, great, man. Yeah, guys, it's an exciting show. Really, really thank you for watching it as much as um, this is a total boxing show where we talk about boxing and discuss what's happening, especially in Ghana and Africa and the rest of the world. Um, I, would, I would like us to talk a little bit about Nigerian boxing, right? So um, okay. I would like to invite a Nigerian panelist on the show next week who also join us and we'll all have the show together. So that okay. we also have to know what is happening in Nigeria. Going forward, we also add the South Africans and then had, we'll be adding them once, like, when, when we get them so that we'll get to understand what's happening also in their space. Because I get a lot of people in boxing telling me that I concentrate so much on my mind. And of course, I'm from Ghana. So yeah, I'll have to do something <laughs> from Ghana. But like, yeah, K-Box TV is, is for the whole of Africa. We're trying to put oh, yeah. Africa to the map and everybody in the world to see what's happening also in Africa. So God willing, next week we'll have a Nigerian um, panelist who also joined us and to have the, to have the conversation. Guys, I've really enjoyed your time. Um, um, somebody's asking me, Jabo, where would you come to Alex for the interview? We will come there very soon. Don't worry, the time will come there. And another comment coming in from Fred Buffo on YouTube is nice one, brothers. We also thank you. And then is saying, good job. Yeah, good job. We, 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 we really appreciate the feedback. And we want to <clears throat> want to thank all of you for always making time. But before you go, guys, I would like to take just I'll give you guys two minutes each, Amedoda and then um, Soa to wrap it up from your end, especially how you want things to how you expect uh, things to go this week in, as, as far as uh, boxing is concerned. Okay, um, is it is it with uh, the GD um, inviting yeah. people? Okay, no, it, um. Uh, I think they should, they should focus more on the um, online promotion and the um, TV, how to get a uh, media people on board. Because okay. that, that is what we really need at, uh, during this COVID time. Okay. And apart from that, they should, they should talk to their promoters to try and make the boxing beautiful. You see, when, they go to, when the boxing is nice, uh, you put up nice fights, a lot of people will come and watch. But if you put up a fight that People come, your sound is not good, mm. your lighting system, everything is down. You know, you make money. They should see boxing as business. So okay. if, if, if the GBA is telling promoters, uh, G, uh, the Ghana Boxing Federation is telling promoters this, they will take it more serious. All right. You understand? Because according to the they look at um, the GBA, the presidents, the leaders. Okay. So if the leaders are going to do this kind of suggestion, mm -hmm. one person can pick it up and you see, when one person picks it up, okay, and they start doing it, the others will follow. All right. So I think they should focus more on the media and the people's Okay. All right. I, do that. I'm, I'll, I will take you to the, what's happening in the world of boxing. What do you expect to be seen? Um, uh, I'm sure for you, as somebody I've seen you comment a lot of stuff on, on, on other platforms as well. I want to know what are you expecting this week? Because boxing is returning yeah. on March 14. Yeah, we have boxing on PBC side. Um, Fulton will, uh, sorry, uh, Leo Angelio will be, uh, will be competing for the uh, WBO Bantamweight title. And that, I mean, there are a lot of things happening in the world of boxing. So if there's anything in particular you want to talk about, just two minutes and then we'll wrap it up. Oh, yeah. I'm so much concerned about the GBA and then uh, the invitation and the meeting or whatever that they are intended of doing. That's okay. my, yeah, that's my main problem. So okay. they, they, they have to, uh, they have to, these meetings supposed to uh, be in a way that the managers, the promoters, and then some other stakeholders should come together and understand that they have to make boxing attractive. All right. Yes, All right. they have to understand to make boxing attractive. The things okay. that GBA is not doing right or the boxing authorities are not doing right, All the right. managers of the boxers are not doing right, 
the promoters mm -hmm. are not doing right. Those are the things that uh, uh, we should uh, 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 mainly concentrate on and then make sure that at least everybody come out with some suggestion that can make boxing attractive. We cannot be here and then uh, maybe some good boxers are there, but right. because a manager just won a big share from a fight, so that, that boxer cannot get a fight to fight, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. they'll go and arrange some fight for a boxer, knowing that boxer is going to win that fight. That, who is ready to watch that? Mm. No. So these are the things that the, 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 the authorities should focus and then make sure that, hey, promoter, these are the things that you're supposed to do. The manager, right. these are the things that you're supposed to do. Not that the, right. the, 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 this thing, uh, uh, they will make one against a boxer and then they'll be hiding behind some laws against a boxer and then not making the boxers fight a good fight, make their money. Just because right. a promoter wants to make money, manager wants to make money, then they leave the boxes there. The boxes are not, no help for the boxes. These are the right. things that GBH is supposed to come out with. Okay? okay. Yeah. And then make sure that the, they, 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 they have sponsors on the TV right and some other things that can make boxing. They are attractive. Boxing is just okay. at one corner in Ghana. Okay. Okay. You see, it's just because uh, GB, GBA is not taking the steps that they should take. So they should have this meeting, even if they will continue to have this meeting all the time to make sure that they, boxing is attractive, they should continue to, they, they should go on to do it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Guys, you, just heard, you just heard from Amedoda, one of my panelists as well. Guys, thank you again for always making time. Um, I want to, I want to uh, send this across uh, this few announcements very soon. Um, so much room boxing will be back this weekend. Um, it's a matchroom fight camp. Um, that's going to happen uh, at the garden, uh, in the garden of, uh, in, in, uh, sorry, matchroom headquarters gardens. So that's where it's, it's going to come from uh, at Excess in England. Um, the card, the card has a very exciting fight. Some Argentine will be facing Ted Chessman. We have Terry Hespar facing Natasha Jonas. We have Felix Cash facing uh, Jason Wellborn. And then we have Dylan White and then the Alexander Povotkin also being the last um, fight that will be on the, on, on the May uh, 2nd. So, guys, there are a lot of fights that will be coming on. Sorry, that will be on August 22nd. That fight was supposed to come on on May 2nd, but it didn't come on. So, it will be the, 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 the last fight which is going to happen on, on August 22nd. So, it means boxing is going to be live again on all the zone users. They will be able to watch boxing live on, on, on their phone or on whatever devices that they watch on. Same time, um, Showtime PBC will also be also promoting show this weekend. We have uh, the, the, the very unfortunate was um, the Fulton versus Leo Angelio, uh, Leo Angelio fight. Um, Fulton just tested uh, for positive for COVID 19, so it's, he, he has been pulled out, but he's been guaranteed oh. to face the winner of the um, uh, Williams versus. Leo Angelo uh, Angelo fight. So a lot of things, a lot of boxing happening this weekend. We'll be back on Monday to see the update. I'll we'll also be back here on Thursday to be able to you not know, digest what's happening in the world of boxing, especially what's happening in Ghana boxing. And then I'll be back here, God willing, tomorrow with Kofi Jantwa of Mayweather Promotions. He'll be here and we'll have a conversation on how to improve Ghana uh, uh, boxing in Ghana and in the rest of the world. Guys, thank you for always making time and see you, God willing, next week. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.